Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this section, we are going to see about addressing in Omron PLC. So, we have a IO memory areas. So, these are all the area where we are defining the address. So, we have core input output. We have work area, holding area and registers. Your registers are there and also we have timers and counters. So, for all these operation, we have a address. So, let's see about that. First, core input and output. So, the input address addressing in Omron will be starting from 0.00. .00. So, this 0 is a, a you know channel number and this 1 is the and, and the next 0 is the terminal number. So, like that it will start. So, 0.00, .00 up to 16 we are having here. So, 0 0.00 to 0 0.15 is the first channel. Next that it will start with 1.0, 1.1 like that it will go. So, that is it for input addressing. So, input address of Omron will be like 0 0.00. It will start from 0 0.00 and it will go till 6143.15. Right. So, let us see about output. So, for output addressing we will be using 100 series. 100.0, 100.7. 101.0 like that we will be using for output addressing. So, in the integrated type PLC means you can use uh, you know 0, 0.00 and 100.00 for IO input and output. If it is an expansion module input, you can make use of uh, 2.0 to 9, 9.0. So, it is like 2.0, 2.1, 2.2 2 like that you can name it for the expansion module IOs. And if you want to use some memory coil means you can make use of 10.0. So, memory coil in Omron is addressing us 10.0, 10.1 like that. So, expansion module output address will be starting from 102.0, 102.1, 103, 104 like that. It will go for expansion output module. So, for input 0, 0.00, for output 100.0 and for memories it will start from 10.0. So, the next is the work area. So, these are all for the registers. The memory area in which address starts with W, the work area is used only in programming. So, you, you can utilize these 16 bits for the word. And we have the DM area. So, it is for 16 bit units. So, once we started the instruction, you can understand where and all we are going to use these kind of addressing. And we have a EM area. So, this is for a general purpose memory area that can be write and read in 16, 16 bit. So, you will be using this complete 16 bit for one word. So, the EM area will hold the previous data when the operating mode is changed. So, holding registers will be having the address of starting with H. So, H if you in a prefix, if it is H, we can get to know there is a holding register address. So, this is for the index registers. So, IR0 to IR15. So, we have a 16 index registers and along with these registers and addressing we are having some flag for the Omron PLC. So, these flags will be default. If you are in need of any flag in your program, you can make use of it. For example, if you are using this particular uh, you know flag that will be meaning that greater than flag. If you want to compare any two values, you can put this flag in between. You can check. And we have some error flag is there, clock, clock flag is there. And we also have always on flag and always off flag, which means whenever the CPU is on, this flag will be continuously on. 
so you can make use of this flag to turn on some output whenever your plc is on you can able to turn on a output using this flag now no need to connect any memory coil or any other input address you can directly use this flag to turn on that particular output and this is for always off flag and we have a data register used for the indirect addressing and tr bits when you are using a several output branches and interlocks cannot be used in that case you can make use of this address to store the output value and we have a counter area and in omron you can make use of 4095 counters so the addressing will be starting with c000 and uh, one more counter if you are using that will be c0001 it is not that you need to use a sequence in order nothing like that you can make use of any address in between c0 to 4095 same thing for timer also the addressing will be starting with t0002 t0 t4095 so if you are using counter one counter and one uh, timer for counter you will be using c0000 and for a timer you cannot use the same address you should give something different it will be like c00 that 0000 is already used for counter so you should use some other address for the timer so like this we have addressing in omron so once we start the programming we can make use of this addressing for our ios kindly like and subscribe our youtube channel i'll meet you in the next session thank you